What the hell is that smell? Is that you? Hmm? When was the last time you showered? Uh, not that long ago. Uh, a couple of days back. Because I got hooked on this TV show where this guy, really rich snob, he's so rich that this guy has a yacht, a mansion, sports cars, he has girls running around left and right. I mean, the guy can't stop making money. Why are you watching this? Because, well, because I want to be like that guy one day. Did you see that guy? The guy has abs that have abs. Okay, that's not even possible. In this lifetime, anything is possible. Okay, so if anything is possible, how come you haven't opened that baking shop you were talking about? Easy. The real estate prices are too high. And why don't you lease? Good areas are taken. There's like no options left. What about an e-commerce store you told me about? Wasn't it something like sweatpants for fat people? What am I? A millionaire? I need money to start that. Uh, what about a YouTube channel? Don't have the face or the body. So why don't you work out? Get at least like a three pack or a four pack. Dude, I don't have time for that. I'm too busy. What are you talking about? You just watched four hours of news followed by another stupid TV show about some fake rich guy. Listen, dude, I'm investing in myself, okay? Knowledge. Listen, I don't expect you to understand. Bro. Ah. Uh. One day I'll show him. <sighs> What's going on people? I'm Anton and welcome back. And if you enjoyed that skit, make sure to leave me a like. And if you're here for the first time, I do expect you to subscribe and click the notification bell. Let's jump straight into what the video is actually about. And that is what rich people do and what poor people don't. I do not consider myself rich by any stretch of imagination, but I love this type of videos because they allow me to find new ways to better myself on the path to becoming loaded. And if you're that type of person as well, I hope this is gonna give you some interesting ideas to challenge yourself as well. So let's start with a few easy differences that are pretty much for everyone. And then we're gonna get to the juicy ones that are honestly pretty shocking. Rich people don't watch TV. You're actually gonna notice that a lot of points are about how the rich handle their free time. So wasting it on indulging useless information for the sake of entertainment is kind of stupid and can be used on other things like reading or brainstorming some new ideas that will develop their mindset. And then on the other hand, you have poor people who will religiously get their several hours a day of watching TV. It's a combination of laziness and the need for instant gratification. But one thing for sure, is you're not gonna get smarter from watching many, many hours of TV, and even if it's news. If I were to grade myself from one to five, one being a poor mindset and five being a rich mindset on this point, I would grade myself somewhere around three. I mean, I don't have cable TV, so I'm not bombarded by entertainment or the news all the time, but I do have Netflix. I found that if you stay away from watching TV series and stick to watching documentaries and uh, highly recommended movies, I can manage the amount of time I spend on entertainment. Rich people don't obsess over watching sports. Now, I didn't say rich people don't watch sports. I said rich people don't obsess over watching sports. And I'm not only talking about professional athletes who would rather play basketball or soccer instead of watching it, but I'm also talking about other wealthy people who would rather go to the gym and exercise instead of religiously spend hours in front of TV following some team. I would rate myself five out of five on this point. And I mean, I love sports, but I would much rather play a game then watch one. The main idea is to value your free time, give it a purpose, give it a job, and even if it's entertainment, make sure that it gives you some value and it lets you better yourself. Rich people shower often. This one was surprising for me to hear, but it totally hit a home run once it was explained. Rich people create self-respect through the actions they take. Now, whether that would be eating healthy, going to the gym, or even showering. And that's not done to please anybody other than themselves. The feeling of starting your day fresh and clean gives you a whole different vibe. So maybe next time you wanna step up your personal finance game, consider taking more showers. Rich people wake up early. Early bird gets the worm. I hate that saying. It's way too overrated, but 
There's something to it. To be productive, rich people sleep less and work more. Now, that of course doesn't go without exceptions. But generally sleeping, we're most productive in the morning after a good night's sleep. Then our productivity slows as the day progresses. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, for example, they both get up at 7 a.m. Dwayne The Rock Johnson gets up at 4. Now, that's a little extreme for my taste, but Gary V, for example, gets up at 6 and Jay-Z gets up at 8. The point is, in order to be uber productive, you can't allow yourself to chill in bed till noon unless you're working from your bed, in which case, good for you. Rich people set financial goals. In order to become wealthy, going past the point of visualizing your goals, rich people tend to plainly write down their short and long-term goals. Short-term goals can include any financial mark that they're trying to reach within the next one to three months when the long-term goals can be anything from one to 10 years. So if becoming wealthy is on your to-do list, try this. Write down your short-term goals on little post-it notes and put them anywhere, let's say on your desk or on your bathroom mirror, anywhere that you can see it. And then check them off as you progress and write down your long-term goals on a bill and then put that bill into your wallet somewhere that you can see. Obviously, don't spend it. It's gonna remind you exactly where you're headed. Rich people don't spend money on things that poor people buy. Basically, rich people buy assets when poor people buy liabilities. Rich people buy things that will grow in value or will make them more money, while poor people buy things that will decrease in value. Saving up to buy a brand new Mercedes? As tempting as it is, it's a stupid decision. Unless you can afford it by paying it with money that comes from, let's say, your rental property. In which case, you will probably want to put that money into another asset anyways because it's super fun to see your portfolio grow. Or invest in the stock market instead of buying the next Gucci belt. To be rich, you have to think like the rich. And trust me when I say the rich don't give a crap about your Supreme shirt or Nike flip-flops. Rich people surround themselves with rich people. Your closest circle of friends has way more influence on you than you may think. Every comment that comes from your close friends, whether that's positive or negative, is multiplied and then slowly inherited by you through your behavior. If you want to be positive, ambitious, determined, then stop giving your time to people who are leeches with a negative overlook on life because that will suck your motivation dry very fast. If you really want to grow your wealth or your business, just talk about it and then see who can hold the conversation. Ever since I started this channel, a bunch of my friends who found this interesting or are on the same journey, they reached out to me asking me for more or gave me new ideas. I reconnected with many of my old friends who I would have never considered writing to. All thanks to this YouTube channel and I'm very grateful for that. Let me know in the comments if these videos are giving you any value. Rich people always have cash reserves. Rich people know something that 99% of other people don't, and that's there are opportunities everywhere. And in order to take advantage of those opportunities when they come around, you have to have a loaded gun. And in this case, the loaded gun is cash reserves. Not always, but generally, it's the risky bets that make wealthy people rich. But in order to bet on risky opportunities, you first have to have play money. If the risky investment falls through, it won't damage your main balance. But if it doesn't, it can pay off really well at the end. But if you live paycheck to paycheck, what cash reserves are we talking about? And even if you do spot an opportunity where you can potentially invest, you won't have the money to put to work. Think about that. Food for thought. Now we're getting to the most important part, the mindset. If you checked off most of the previous points and you're still not wealthy, you might want to hear the next couple of points. Rich people live in the future while poor people live in the past. Do you know anyone who's not willing to move on because of some insecurity from the past? Maybe they got burnt with a pyramid scheme or a get rich quick thing. Well, inability to look forward, adapt and innovate will have them stuck in the same spot. Look at your phone. Someone came up with a handheld device that can transmit video instantly. It's revolutionary because it completely changes how we viewed phones ever since then. Talking on a white brick looking device is not even an option just because somebody innovated into the future, took the risk into the future and is now probably reaping the reward. Rich people don't believe in wishful thinking. Wishful thinking is a dangerous path. You can waste hours creating scenarios in your head 
that have never existed and never will. What rich people preach is wishful action. Creating a plan, even if it's just taking the first step of developing your wish into reality. If it stays in your head, it can never really exist. Have you ever said, I wish I was able to do this or that without flexing a single muscle? Well, if you reverse it and make it into wishful action, you would push yourself to close on that potential client or start that home baking show for you because you deserve it. Rich people know the difference between dedication and interest. What are you interested in? Maybe getting a six pack? Maybe trying that new diet? Well, if you dedicate yourself to those things, you're more likely to get there. Rich people play the long-term game and being interested in something most likely has an expiration date, while being dedicated has a long-term focus to complete it. Poor people have this notion that buying a lottery ticket has the potential to fix all their problems. This I want to be rich now mentality is a curse because they don't want to dedicate their time and willpower to accomplishing something of value in their life. Are you dedicated to your craft? or just interested. Rich people take responsibility for their actions. When it comes down to taking on pressure, your behavior will say a lot about you because your mindset can either make you or break you. If you victimize yourself and make excuses when something bad happens, that's a sign that you're not ready to become successful. Rich people don't expect anyone's support. They're ready to take on any problem or responsibility themselves. And if somebody does come around and end up helping, well, that's only a positive. Kaka is gonna hit the fan because that's life. If you dwell on why it happened to you and how unfortunate you are, instead of making a plan to move forward, you're actually attracting more situations like that. Think about that. Thank you for watching. And if you want a good laugh, make sure to check out this video over here, how I tried the million dollar morning routine and well, here it is.